With information circulating since January 19th and August 9th this year regarding the Philippine Navy's plan to upgrade their existing ships with more potent weapon systems, we can reveal that this information has been shared since last year. As confirmed by Secretary Teodora, a directive has been given to the Navy to upgrade the existing Navy ships with more potent weapon systems. The order is to arm every capable Philippine Navy ship with an equivalent missile system. In the 2025 budget deliberations for the Department of National Defense, Secretary Teodora revealed that among the projects that will use the P7.6 billion fund for the Philippine Navy is the connectivity and weapon system upgrade of the existing Philippine Navy ships. And this is not the only directive given by Secretary Bike regarding the enhancement of the capabilities of AFP assets, other branches also have similar directives. With this there are already plans to upgrade namely the Jacinto class and Alvarez class which will be armed with the Spike N loss, non-line of sight, missile system. The Spike NLOS missile system is a land-based missile system that can be launched from ships providing accurate and effective strike capabilities against targets that are not directly visible. Some of the advantages of this system include long-range strike capability with a wide range. This system allows the Jacinto class and Alvarez class to launch attacks against targets that are far from visual line of sight. The same system is currently installed on the Acero class fast attack boats. Spike N loss, with a maximum effective range of 30 km, will provide an additional punch to the Alvarez and Jacinto class at extended ranges. Although if the Jacinto class were to receive the necessary missile system, it is likely that the first ship to receive such a system would be the BRP Emilio Jacinto, PS-35. Because currently, only the BRP Emilio Jacinto has a decent combat management system, the Saab 9LV. For a missile system to be more effective, sharing information with other AFP assets is essential and with that, having a combat management system is necessary as it controls all systems on a particular ship, from weapons to communication systems. The Alvarez class would be another candidate for weapons upgrades, although the question of whether the US government would allow third-party systems to be installed on the donated ships still needs to be addressed. Another upgraded class is the Del Pilar frigates as reported on August 9th. With their upgraded sensor systems and having a combat management system up and running, the Del Pilar is indeed ready to receive additional weapon systems. Although similar to the Alvarez class, the question of approval for the installation of third-party systems is there. Although we believe the US government would allow such systems as they have already allowed similar arrangements in the past for non-US systems to be installed on ships such as the Navy's Hanwha Shield CMS and other sensors. Having the Del Pilar class use the same Mistral, Simbad and Sea Star missiles used by the Rizal class frigates and the Gok Denise close-in weapon system installed on the Malvar class would bring logistical ease to the Philippine Navy than having other types of systems. The Rizal class will have the full complement of its remaining weapon systems which are missiles for its vertical launch system, close-in weapon system and its torpedo system. The upgrades that will be done to the Rizal and Del Pilar classes will likely cost more than half or even 75% of the 7.6 billion fund. And the remaining amount will be spent on the Jacinto class. And we also hope that more appropriations will be made available by the national government to allow other classes of ships to receive their additional weapon systems. And if it is possible to increase the amount of 7.6 billion to 10 billion pesos, then the House is committed to at least partially restoring the budget requested by the DND. This will allow for the upgrading of more ships to make their FFBNW project fitted for but not with, instead of as Representative Arnon Panagan stated, fitted for but never.
Why the emphasis on the larger class of ships? The larger the ship, the more flexible it will be to whatever sea state it finds itself in. The Alvarez and Acero classes are fast ships but they will struggle in higher sea states, an environment where larger ships can survive. In the upgrade work on these ships can begin after additional ships are commissioned by the Philippine Navy. So that could mean after the first of the Malvar class is commissioned, a ship will be ready for upgrade work. Up arming and upgrading the Philippine Navy ships is the logical thing to do for now because the construction of the ships will take quite a long time before they are commissioned, time that we do not have and this is something that SEC Teodora has repeatedly stated during the budget deliberations. While the Philippine Navy may not have the numbers to counter what the People's Liberation Army Navy has, having armed ships with lethal weapons and advanced command and control systems, and not as hulls with guns, as SEC Teodora also stated, can bring some deterrence to a certain level that our ships can hit them from a distance as well. We hope that with the upgrades to the Philippine Navy ships, they will be better prepared to face the ever-growing challenges especially in the West Philippine Sea.